What's up YouTube? Check this gadget. In today's video, we're going to talk about why you should get the Nintendo Switch OLED edition if you have the Nintendo Switch Lite. I must say, I have this Nintendo Switch Lite, which you don't see here right now, because um, I already gave it away. I had that when it came out in 2019, and I've had it all the way up until Christmas, because that's basically when I gave it away. And... Let me just tell you, I loved it. I love my little light. It was so light. Loved everything about it. Um, before I got the light, I had never played with the Nintendo Switch outside of the little demo model in the store. So the demo model always seemed bigger, wider. I just thought I wouldn't like it because I didn't play video games that much. I just thought the little light was like just something nice I could just play in the bed. And, you know, it served its purpose of what I used it for. It was a nice little light device. I used it in the bed. It was perfect. I never did really, I never did travel with it. Um, but it served its purpose for why I got it. But recently, got the chance to get this Nintendo Switch, the OLED model. And let me just tell you, this is the way to go right here. This, my OLED model, has been fantastic. Here it is right here. Right here. And... I love it it's just it's just fantastic i love it so let's let's first of all let's just quickly go over some specs of the old nintendo switch not old but the nintendo switch Lite versus this model now i'm gonna come i might i'll go ahead and mention the um the regular switch because the regular switch this has some upgrades from the regular switch also so we're gonna go ahead and go over it together so hopefully you can see this here. So the Nintendo Switch Lite was two hundred dollars. Nice entry point, two hundred. Nice entry point if you just want to get into having a hand handheld uh, console. So let's get in prices. The Switch Lite is two hundred. The Switch is three hundred, and then this model here is three fifty. If you already think about the Switch, you might as well just go get hey get the OLED. I don't for fifty dollar difference. It's, it's a no-brainer. But anyway, let's get back. So, my Switch Lite, which I'm coming from, was a 5.5-inch LCD screen, 720p, 60 hertz. Okay? Did I notice the small screen? Of course, you notice the small screen, but you understand what it was. It's the light edition, and I was okay with that. At that time, the, uh, the, the Switch was out, and I'm losing 0.5-inch. So, the Switch, regular Switch has 6 inches. But we get to this one, and this has seven inches. That's why I say if you're even thinking about getting a switch, there's a no-brainer. Just get this OLED. Um, let's go to weight. So we got the light, which you know, light we expect lighter device, so on and so forth. 9.8 ounces. The regular switch is 14.1, and the OLED is 14.9. Now I must say I'm a bit shocked by those numbers simply because. Of course, the the switch my the, the OLED is heavier than the light, but it didn't seem like it was that much light heavier. That was always one of the reasons why I thought I wouldn't want the regular switch because of the weight difference. Um, I don't know if I got used to it, but I'm surprised to see these numbers. I thought I was a little more closer in the weight size category, but this doesn't bother me at all anymore. It doesn't bother it, it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't seem that much heavier than my light, even though um, with these numbers, it's essentially, you know, a five pound different, a five ounce difference point. Uh, yeah, five ounce no, difference. Okay, then you have the battery life, three to seven hours, four to five on the regular switch, four to five. So the, the regular switch and the OLED have the same amount of battery hours. When it comes to, I can say a game I play often, as you see, and my screenshot here is 2K, this is 2K23. I had to get rid of 2K20 because they cut the service, so I had to go ahead and finally upgrade um, to 2K23. And um, I can say on my light, I think I was able to get, I know three, four games for sure. Maybe three and a half, three and a half games before it was like at 15%. And I might can ease that one out. So we'll just say three and a half, maybe four. Um, I can't remember how many I get on this one. 
probably the same. Probably about the same, maybe four. Probably about the same. I do a lot. I've been doing a lot of pausing on this, and so I haven't been able to really gauge. But I know for sure on my light playing a game, um, I'm doing like my career. I was able to get three and a half, four games. If you want to take it all the way down to like one percent, essentially. Then storage life. So on the light, you had 32 gigabytes. The switch also had 32, which I didn't know. Um, but on this model here, you get 64, which that's great. It's great that they double. You still want to get a uh, micro SD card. Definitely, if you're going to get the light, you want to get a micro SD card. I can tell you right now, the 2K game takes up 50 gigabytes. Like, it's like 50, 50, 53 gigabytes already. Um, on my, I had the Mortal Kombat 11 game, that take up like 18 gigs. These games take up, and these are, and this is, I had the physical disc, but I guess whatever you download, whatever, however they do it. It takes up a lot of space. I highly recommend at least getting the um, SD card of micro SD card of 64 gigabytes. That's what I had in my light and I had everything maxed out. I had my onboard 32 gigabytes uh, maxed out in the SD card because essentially the 2K game takes up all of my micro SD. If it's a 64 gigabyte card, you know, you only get like you know 60 59 something like that and this takes up like 55 50 55 somewhere in there and my new one i got in this one this one here i got a 128 i went ahead and went up to a 128 on this one and so all of them you can do tv docking itself for the light of course detachable you know of course the light you, you there you know have the detachable and you don't have the the tv dock and then you have the color options of the black and white, red and blue. I did want the red and blue, but um, I got the white. And then you have the five different colors in the light. I had the Tori Kori's edition. And yeah. So those are the specs. Get this package here. This is what you go ahead and get. So this does have a tablet on the uh, tablet stand, which I've only used like the first day I got it. Cause I thought I was going to be, and there's the tablet stand. Does go to has a nice, pretty nice low angle. So you can see there it goes pretty low. I thought I was going to be using this, and I tried the first day, and then I was just like, cause I thought it was like I said, I was I was afraid this was going to be too heavy. But I was like, let me just play it like this, and I've been playing like this ever since. Love it. So you do have that. You do get the. The wrist straps for when you're playing like your active games or whatever. You got the stand. You have the dock. I love the dock. You just slide it in there and it charges. And then, of course, handheld mode, which is what I play my, uh, what I play this in. So, love, 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 love this. So, I'm saying, I'm saying if you're getting it for a kid, like a kid... Go ahead and get them like this. You know, they're destructive and whatnot. But I'm saying, if you're an adult, you know, and you're getting this to play in your spare time like I do, go ahead and get that OLED edition. You will not regret it. I have not even tried to play it on the TV yet. I haven't tried to play it on TV. Like I said, when I played this, I can get you since it is a little cramped coming from, you know, a traditional Xbox 360 controller. Uh, that was the last gaming console that I had. Um, but I probably can get used to it, but I haven't even tried to play it on TV yet. Um, that is definitely something I'm interested in trying to do. The only reason I got the lights, cause that's like I said, I want to play it in bed and you know, I don't travel anywhere with it. So this won't be really going anywhere out of town, outside the house. So I'm not worried about that aspect, but, um, and I still play this in the bed. Like I said, I've gotten used to the weight or whatnot, but I do want to try it on the TV mode just to see how it looks. But if you are, if you're getting this for yourself and, you, you know, you're deciding between, go ahead and, and spend that extra $150 and go ahead and get this version. The screen quality is um, much appreciated. Jumping up from 5.5 inches to a 7 inch OLED, it's just, it's just so much. The experience is just so much better. And playing 2K on here is just so much better. And I just love it. So... I just wanted to make this video for anybody that was thinking about getting a light just to have something around, even though you might not play it a while. If you're not going to play it often, I guess get the light. But I still say try to splurge and get this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, later.